So guys, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how exactly I overcome anxiety now that I'm sober. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna to explain to you a little bit about how, what it's like when I suffer with anxiety. Then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how I get rid of it in the short term. Then I'll talk to you more about how I've gotten rid of it in the longer term and how I've decreased it dramatically. It's still there, but we'll get into that. Uh, then I've got a little bit of a final message for you guys. So if you guys don't know me, my name's Leon, I'm 27. Uh, I'm now 448 days sober. Uh, I live here in Thailand, so I've just hiked up a mountain at 4 a.m. We went for the sunrise, as you can see there. Uh, I'll show you a bit of footage of the of the, uh, of the the trip in this video and you'll see it behind you. But yeah, I'm just like stood on top of a mountain in Thailand and it's amazing. So, but what I really wanna do is, because I've seen a lot of people that have just got sober, they say that they're struggling with anxiety. Now, yeah, it's, it's hard as hell. Like, I get it. I've heard oh, just so many people get it and it's not something that people really talk about as well. I've never really heard anybody talk about anxiety and depression openly, you know? So I kind of want to be really raw. I want to be really honest in this video. Um, so yeah, so basically when I feel anxious, what usually happens is I'll wake up in the morning and I'm going to feel like one, 2% of anxiety. I'll just feel like this tiny little niggle, right? And then by the end of the day, I'm a mess. I'm crippled, right? And that's the word that I use to describe anxiety is crippled. When I'm feeling extremely anxious, I can't talk to people, I can't work, I can't get out of my bedroom, I don't even wanna move, like it's horrible and, and it, it's debilitating. It's one of the hardest things that I've ever experienced. And when I stopped drinking, yeah, I had a lot of experiences of up and down anxiety. Um, so I've kind of found a few ways that work for me. Um, now, in the sh the, basically, the, I read a book called uh, A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, and he talks a lot about ego. So the way he, he likes to describe it is depression and anxiety are all coming from ego. Now, depression is when you're kind of worrying about the past. Uh, so then when you're thinking about the past, it makes you feel these depressive symptoms. And then when you're worrying about the future, it's more anxiety based. Now, both these two symptoms are from the ego. The ego is your thoughts. So when you kind of understand that, that you know, if you can bring yourself into the present moment, the ego kind of dissolves. So that was the first thing that I tried to do was bring myself into the present moment. Now, there was a great thing. I actually found it in uh, Quora or Reddit. I was just Googling around like, how to get rid of anxiety and somebody posted this way that they get themselves present in the moment. And it's a really great short-term cure. So what you do is you think of, you, basically you bring awareness to your senses. So you think of three things that you can see, three things you can smell, three things you can touch, three things you can hear, and three things that you can feel. And then, you know, like I'd, right now, if in, in this example, I'd look at nature, there's loads of things to see. Maybe I can taste my coffee this morning or I can taste my toothpaste. Uh, I'll bring awareness to my jacket touching my arms or my jeans touching my knees. And you get the point. And it, and it brings awareness to the moment which stops the worry about the future. So that's the first thing because we can't control the future. All we have is the present moment. So worrying about the future probably isn't even beneficial anyway. Now, once I've kind of gotten rid of it, so that, that's how I get rid of it in the short term. Now, my anxiety has decreased. Now, I do still get waves of anxiety. I've not had a, a, a wave for a few weeks. You know, usually it might have been when I first, especially when I first stopped drinking, it was probably a weekly thing where there'd be just days where I just didn't do any work or anything. And I'm a freelancer, like I make videos, this is what I do. So my productivity is directly correlated to how much money I make. So it's so important that I keep my anxiety at bay so I can keep working and just keep building this good life. So. What I've kind of done is I've found the symptom of my anxiety. And for me, it might not be for you. It would, for me, it was sleep. It was a lack of sleep. Now, for some people that I've spoken to, you know, they, they think it's due to the food that they eat. They think that it might be due to exercise. They think that it might be due to work stress. But for me personally, it was, it was sleep. So once I found this out, I, I immediately, um, I realized like, so, so the days that I even felt anxious, I knew that I hadn't had a good night's sleep before. So I, I knew that the next day I wouldn't feel as bad. I'd, I'd just kind of power through it. So on those days where I felt really bad, you know, I'd try and bring awareness to myself. It didn't always work, I'm not gonna lie. It did work sometimes, but I just would power through. So I knew by the end of the day that I would go to sleep, I'd have a good night's sleep and I'd wake up and the feelings would be gone. And you know, it, for me personally, it was never really a continuous stream of anxiety where I'd feel bad every single day. It was more like, um, it would be one really, really, really bad day. And then the next day it would kind of go. So whilst I was feeling it, and whilst I was in those states of anxiety, I would make myself not, um, not worry. Like I, I wouldn't put any additional pressure on myself. So I just wouldn't work. You know, I might go for a massage. I might go for a swim. I might just go to the gym and that would be a productive day. If I could get through that day without drinking, whilst I felt anxious, the day was a victory. It didn't really matter what happened. So that's kind of, 
you know, some kind of coping mechanism for when I was feeling anxious, I'd just power through the day and know that I feel okay tomorrow because I found out my symptom. Now your symptom might be different. Your symptom might be nutrition, like I said, your symptom might be something to do with uh, your, your activity levels, it might be anything. So it's really important that you find out the symptom of the anxiety. Now, I'm no expert in this, I've just found what worked for me, so I'm only sharing my experience. This might not work for you, but that's what worked for me. Um, so that kind of worked in the long term. Now, the real message that I really wanna share with you is that if you've just stopped drinking, you just got sober, and you're feeling these waves of anxiety, yo, know, it can be hard, right? It really can be hard. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say it's easy to go through those episodes. It's like things go well, things go well, then boom, you get hit with this wave of anxiety. Uh, but the thing is now is, is now you feel that you, you're able to deal with it without turning to, to alcohol. And that's one of the most powerful feelings in the world. You'll feel in control of your own life. And the thing is, is if you, you, know, you suffer with anxiety and you're sober, you know, you're doing great. If you're not drinking, that's the most important thing. You know, if you're, if you're not drinking, you're going to build a better quality of life for yourself, even if you're feeling anxious some days. And I really recommend that book, Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth that can help you bring awareness to your ego. It can help you bring awareness to where exactly the anxiety you're feeling is coming from. That is a brilliant book. And also, you know, you want to find the symptom. You want to find the cause. You, sorry, when I say symptom, I was supposed to say cause, but it's too late now. I'm not going to reshoot the video. But you get the point. You want to find the cause of your anxiety uh, and then you can address that. So, yeah, if, if oh, I can hear, I can hear there's a little village down there. We're in the mountains and, and there's... Um, there's some announcements. I think they might be Muslim or something. They, they sometimes will do announcements for prayers in the morning. But anyway, uh, that's what I want to share with you guys. Yo, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.